Good morning. I'm going camping with my sister and my two babies for a week day after tomorrow. What that means is I have to take care of a bunch of plants, do some plant maintenance things for while I'm gone. Ryan will still be here, but I'm not really gonna rely on him to take care of my plants. He, he has taken care of them before, but there's just some things that that I do not really trust him to do. No offense, Ryan. <laughs> so I'm going to get it all done before I leave. So I don't have to stress, hopefully. Let's go check my list, actually. Uh, so I got my little notebook here with my to-do list. We have to, oh, let me go grab it. Number one on the list, I ordered systemic granules. to water into my plants to deal with pests. Oh, I'm really excited. Mine are pretty well under control, but I am having a little bit of um, pest breakouts. I don't know what happened, but for some reason I have aphids in my grow tent on some of my Hoya plants. It did just start, so I think I'm going to be able to nip it in the bud with this. <sighs> so we have to do the systemic in my grow tent, and then also I'm probably gonna do it in all my plants downstairs just to be safe and maybe in a few upstairs as well. There's dog hair all over my list. I'll link it down below if you wanna try it. I don't have experience with it. Then we have to clean my Cebu blue plant because you guys, let me tell you, I was stupid on my little espresso machine. I didn't put the, I forgot to put the metal part in there. So the beans filtered directly into the thing with the handle. Oh, I don't know the words for this. I'm not a coffee pro. So then when I put it on for the espresso to actually like, to actually pull the shot, it exploded <laughs> everywhere. There were coffee grounds all over everything. They got all over my Cebu Blue plant, Cebu Blue plant. And I haven't cleaned that up yet. So there's just like coffee grounds all over the plant that I wanna clean off today finally. So yeah, we're gonna be dealing with that. And then the last thing on my list is water plants for camping. So those three things are only three things, but it feels like a lot. So let's get started. Oh, and Kai is not home. So that's why I'm able to get all this done. He is sleeping over at grandma's and grandpa's. I feel good, let's, let's get her done. Yeah, you can see there's just like splatter marks all over the plant still. <laughs> eee! And it needs to be very thoroughly watered. Feeling pretty crispy, got some dry leaves. So we'll just kill two birds with one stone and stick it in the shower. I hope that deals with it. Okay, let's let's um, do something really quick. Here is my son, Reiner. I don't think I've really shown him on any of my videos. He is now three months old and super chunky and huge. Oh, he's so sweet. Um, wait, let's see. Okay, so these say directions for use. Say, where are the directions? Don't use this on plants you plan to eat. That's what it says. Do I just sprinkle a little bit on? It doesn't really say. For one gallon size plant, you put 2.5 tablespoons. So I'm just gonna like sprinkle a little bit on. And, oh, and then you water it thoroughly. So you sprinkle it on the plant and then you water it into the plant. And I guess how it works is the, whatever it is, whatever ingredients does the killing gets sucked up into the plant saps and juices and tissues. So then bugs that feed on the plant die because it's poisoned. Ain't that something. Um, where else? Uh, uh, uh. To help assure that the roots can absorb the insecticide, do not water too heavily for the first 10 days. If I can't, oh well. I would definitely like to get that going while I'm gone so that hopefully when I get gone, the problem is just gone on its own, you know? I'm gonna go put this in the shower. We're gonna leave the door like that so you can't see my <laughs> messy countertop. Alrighty then, let's do this. I'm just gonna stick it in, ow! Oh, look what I did. I'm struggling, look what I did. Do you see my leg and my shin? I just hit my shin so hard. <sighs> and here's hoping that that'll clean off the coffee grinds. I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit. And even if it doesn't clean it off, the water will soften them since they've dried on there and then I can wipe them off more easily, you know? <gasps> but good news, it's washed it off. All the coffee grinds are already off. Why did I put this off so long? I felt so stressed out about doing this, but it's like, that was easy. <laughs> Let the rain fall down. 
Dun, 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 I don't know the song except that one line. Let it drain, let it run out a little bit so I don't make a mess. You know what, actually really quick. No, I'm gonna let it drain, getting ahead of myself. Okay, so I actually just had an epiphany that the reason you're not supposed to thoroughly water is so that the roots are for like going going to absorb the water you've used to water in the systemic, if that makes sense. Like, so if I water, if I put it in right now, there's no guarantee that the roots are gonna soak it up because there's so much water, I think. But let's see how the plant's doing. Let me squeeze by ya, excuse me. Excuse me. And now you, did you hear my um, knees crack? <laughs> Shake her off. Mm, there's still a little bit of coffee beans. I missed some, so I'm just gonna turn her around and spray it off a little bit more. Give her a little shakety shake. So I don't drip water through my entire house. Okay, let's go. Ugh, ugh, I'm struggling. I have a love hate with this, um, what is this, plant stand because it's so deep and like what plant is has that deep of a pot but isn't wider, you know? So I had to put a tray at the bottom and then there's an upside down pot, like regular planter, like terracotta pot. This actual plant pot, nursery pot, sits on. <laughs> and I guess it works. There's still a little bit of coffee on here, but it's much better. I'll just wipe it off with my hand and wipe it on my shirt. It's getting a little leggy. I think I need to do some propagations. It is kind of sitting far away from the window, especially for summertime. It's okay how far away it sits, but um, right now where it's winter, it's kind of struggling, but I mean, it'll be okay. Okay, I gotta pull off some yellow leaves. I mean, there's not too many. Much better. The plant looks so much better, so much cleaner. I'm happy with it. This boy's happy with it. Let's cross off our list. Oh, it's zoomed in. Oh, we're not trying to zoom in more on this ugly mug. There is nothing I love more than crossing something off my to-do list. And that wasn't even bad. I, I seriously have put that off for like a month. That incident with the coffee spillage explosion happened literally a month, maybe even more ago. And I just still couldn't, couldn't get, get myself to do it, even though that was so easy. Um, okay, so cross off that. Right, we are going back to my bathroom because I am going to be bottom, bleh, bottom watering everything, I think. Move this. Okay, so we have a few inches of water in the bathtub. I'm just gonna take all of my sphagnum moss plants, the ones that really, really need to, like, I need to make sure absorb enough water. Um, I'm gonna stick all of them into the tub to not die of dehydration. Do you guys wanna see something sad? This is my Syngonium elbow, which I cut back and let regrow because it was sad. It is now sad again because I decided to move it. I was so dumb, I wasn't thinking clearly. I decided to move it from a north window to a south window, and now it's dried up. But good news, it is starting to grow back again under that new south light environment. So I'm just gonna have to let it regrow. I guess I should probably pull off all these ugly leaves. I am pretty annoyed at myself for this because I know better. I know better, why did I do that? I definitely needed to let it acclimate more, like more slowly, uh, but it is what it is. I get impatient, compulsive, is that the word? Impulsive. Impulsive is the word I'm looking for. And then I just do it even though I know that it's not smart. Oops, I broke off a leaf that was not ready. Let's see if there's a... I'm gonna pull this apart. 
Yes, there's a new leaf under there. See, there's new growth coming in. It's gonna be just fine. It's okay. And kind of the same story with my Pilia peperomioides. This one you're seeing, this one. <laughs> Um, it looks sad. I promise it's really not. It's because again, I moved it to a south or yeah, a south window too abruptly, <laughs> uh, letting them have a more slow transition in situations like that is ideal and actually quite necessary because the plants will die sometimes. Okay, it's not dead, but like, obviously it's kind of sad. Oh my gosh, I'm not very good at plants. What is wrong with me? You can hear the plants. I hope you can hear it. You can hear the plants. You can hear the soil, I should say, absorbing the water. When you bottom water, it's not the plant actually sucking up the water, it's the substrate it's in. I love that. <laughs> So I'm taking a little breather, a little break while my planties soak in the bathtub and then we'll get back to watering. Um, I'm gonna eat lunch, but I did just wanna ask, I miss uploading twice a week. Like I really think for the good of my channel, for the good of my community, uploading twice a week really felt like the best thing for us, for this relationship. But I have a really hard time <laughs> posting two videos a week. I just do, I don't know what it is. I think I could manage doing a video like this where I do like a day of my plant care or like my big plant chores that I've been putting off that I need to get done. Cause there are so many of them that could probably supply like a year of content. <laughs> okay, that's being dramatic, but, or even like weekly plant care vlogs. So like each day, whatever I do to take care of my plants. And I like doing care vlogs, but I also like doing my sit down videos that I feel are more informative and where I've only been uploading once a week, it's been hard to know which one to do. If that makes sense, I don't know. I just second guess everything. Like don't quote me on this, and but just let me know what you think. Monday, a sit down, more information based video. And then on Fridays do, a video like this where we just like hang out and do plant chores. That feels really good within me. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. And then I really need to get going on my potting a murder. So like, <sighs> that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I don't know, let me know what you think. But yeah, my uploading has been terrible. This month I've only uploaded one time. Okay, so I have to be kind of quiet because the baby's asleep, but I'm just gonna go ahead and water the rest of my pots that I have in um, cover planters. So really I just add a bunch of water to the bottom so that I don't have to worry about them drying out while I'm gone. <laughs> it's really easy. And one of the main reasons I like doing cover planters like this. And you guys know me, I'm watering with Liquidert. <laughs> I still do have a code for Liquidert. It is Harley G underscore 25. If you want 25% off your order and you can use that every time you order. And it's cool because Liquidert is actually a local company to me. So they're here in Utah and I love that. Love supporting local small businesses that like I genuinely, genuinely love, you know? All out, <laughs> I gotta refill. Oh, look at this. Deschidia ovata is going to bloom. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited. So, oh, and there's one back here. Can you see it? It's just small. Oh, and right there, look. Where'd it go? Where'd you go? Little flower? Okay, maybe I was, oh, right there. So, <gasps> yay. This philodendron mayoi.
This just has like a plastic liner in there with no drainage hole. I did that because it lives in sphagnum moss. That other one had a drainage hole and it was just drying out way, way too frequently. And this way with keeping it in this pot, I will be able to just add like a bunch of water to this. I don't have to worry about it drying out as often because it was getting a little bit out of hand. Okay, it's growing a little bit wonky. Yeah, that's so much better, yay. Okay, well, I'm looking a little rough. <laughs> now we are just gonna go sprinkle this around onto all of my, probably all of the plants, just like out in the open. Um, I don't think I need to put it in the propagation bins because like I said, this is a new, the aphids are a new problem I've had. I've never had them before, so I don't know how they even got in here, but I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over these Hoyas and I do think the aphids are attracted to Hoyas because when Hoyas bloom they secrete a sap that's like sweet tastes like sugar water syrup which is what I think that the aphids like so yeah I'm just gonna sprinkle it onto all of the plants here and I haven't noticed any issues on the plants over here but I'm just gonna add a little bit to them as well just to be safe better safe than sorry a eh? i think so <laughs> when it comes to plant pests anyway i know i'm just gonna water it in Ugh! losing my balance now i'm just gonna water a little bit onto the tops and hope for the best oh my arm is shaking i don't know if you can see it <laughs> i'm weak okay Okay, that's that. That was the last thing on our list. I'm so happy because I don't know if you can tell, I am tired. I am tired. You. <sighs> bye bye, planties. Stay safe while I'm gone for only a week. It'll be fine. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I did everything on my list. All of my plants are watered. That's it. That's the extent of what I do to get ready to go on a trip. Like, just water my plants really well. Anything more than a week, like, you have to do some other, take some other measures. But just for a week or less, or even like 10 days or less, you should be good just giving them a super thorough watering. I hope, I hope you found this video entertaining or learned something maybe, or it was just something to listen to in the background as you do your own plant chores or something. Uh, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! You helping? Hey, how about you go sit down? Thank you. <laughs> You're so cute.
these ones just need to start. Dirt never hurt nobody. Mm -mm. Why does it smell so freaking good? It's been a long time since we smelled a campfire. What do you want? What do you want? What? Chips? It'd be nice if you used actual words, huh? Yeah.